Just when you thought you've seen everything, you stumbled across the perfect animal video. Most humans are intrigued by our smaller animal friends, especially those that are cute and cuddly. But what about those that aren't? For instance, did you know that there are venomous mammals like the Hispaniola salinodon? Or what about turtles that can glow? Yeah, we've got those animals plus eight more in today's episode of 10 Unique Animals You Didn't Know Existed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Serenem toad. We'll kick things off with one of the most unique looking species of frogs on planet Earth, the Serenem toad. Now, for starters, there are more than 90 species of frogs and toads on planet Earth. Yeah, who knew? But not many of those other frogs or toads look quite like this. The Serenem toad is unique for a few reasons. For starters, they have beady, tiny black eyes that are lidless and sit right at the top of the head. This toad can stay underwater for up to an hour and eats via suction feeding. You won't catch these guys using a super long and sticky tongue to track down flies. Instead, they search around using their long, sensitive fingers. And whenever they find something, they pounce on it and use their mouths to basically swallow the meal whole. But the most unique thing about the Suriname toad is clearly their bumpy skin. The slippery, slick animal uses the wart-like bumps to protect itself from potential predators. So, uh, looks kind of cool, right? And what's even more, female Suriname toads do something a little bit extra. They incubate their babies on their bumpy backs. Her fertilized eggs are embedded into their skin on their back, and after a few months, the fully formed baby toads start to emerge. Uh, okay. <laughs> Emperor Tamarin. From one bizarre looking and highly unknown animal to the next, we'll display our first mammal on today's countdown by talking about a monkey with a mustache that I'm truly jealous of. Meet the Emperor Tamarin. And no, that isn't technically a mustache, but it does look pretty cool. The Emperor Tamarin, a gorgeous monkey that lives in South America, is pretty cool for starters. Well, just look at them. These guys earn their names because of their unique facial hair that sort of looks like a mustache worn by the last German emperor, Wilhelm II. But unfortunately, their gift is also a curse, as the unique Amazonian animal is highly sought after in the wild animal black market trade. So unfortunately, they've got to always look out for and be aware of the absolute worst kind of predator, the human. Raccoon Dog Now let's go from one animal that you may want to try and keep as a pet, well simply because it looks pretty cool, to one that, well, just please don't try and keep this one as a pet. Now I don't think it would be a good idea, but there are exceptions to every rule. Of course we're talking about the Raccoon Dog. What, you didn't know these things existed? Well neither did I. And to further blow your mind, a Raccoon Dog is, get this, neither a raccoon nor a dog. Yeah, neither one. Also known as a tanukis, these animals can be found all over Europe, Russia, and parts of Asia. There is one in the zoo in Atlanta, Georgia, but they don't occur naturally in North America. So the burning question for most of us right now is, well, do raccoon dogs make good pets? And the answer to that isn't so straightforward. These animals are wild. They're not domesticated and they have a lot of similar habits as a fox, of all things, but there is at least one case of one being raised as a pet. Bandit is a pet raccoon that does live with its owner, Miss Lincoln, over in England. The pet even walks on a leash and can sit on command. Highland Cow I'm really digging the mammals right now, so let's keep that train of thought rolling. This next creature I can pretty much guarantee most of us has never seen before. This shaggy fella is a highland cow, a unique furry cow friend that almost looks like an oversized Pomeranian. Well, maybe that's a little extreme. These furry cows are the oldest registered breed of cattle in the world. The cows were bred to thrive in the harsh winters of Scotland, and their furry coats certainly helped them do that. But also, 
the Highland cow isn't just a pretty face, this cattle leads to some very high quality beef as well. So not only do they look good, but they taste great. Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey We've talked about one monkey today, so well, let's go ahead and make it two. Up next, we've got the Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey, which you can find over in Central Asia where there are roughly 8,000 to 10,000 of these animals remaining. Obviously, these cute fellas and ladies are known for their golden colored fur and bright faces that have a tinge of blue to them, but also because of their noses or lack thereof. These creatures can survive for up to 26 years and they generally feast on things like pine needles, bamboo shoots, leaves, and fruits. <laughs> Venezuelan Poodle Moth So there is some speculation about this next creature as many aren't even sure if this thing even exists. This is the Venezuelan Poodle Moth and they look like a cross between a mythical fairy, regular moth, and uh, a gremlin? Well, at least that's what they look like to me. Discovered just in 2009 down in South America, a zoologist named Arthur Anker uploaded the first picture of the moth and claimed to have captured the images in Venezuela's Canema National Park. The only issue was that everyone who went there to verify the new species came up empty. They simply couldn't find the new bug. Alas, the species has been since verified, so rest assured, the creature is real but I'm not so sure I want to see one in person. I mean, it looks kind of weird. Cute, sure, but weird as hell too. Hispaniola solenodon. We'll move on. Up next, we've got something that looks like, well, it looks like a glorified rat, as if rats could look glorified at all. The Hispaniola solenodons have one ugly trait that rats don't have, however, and that's the fact that they're venomous. This shrew has a big head and a long snout, and like any shrew, the Selenodon from the island of Hispaniola has very powerful claws. And get this, the snout on a Selenodon is usually flexible. They're made up with a ball and socket joint, which is exactly the way a human shoulder works. This allows them to explore deep into crevices for potential meals. And for what it's worth, the Hispaniola Selenodon secretes a musky odor that many people claims to make them smell like goats. Yeah, so there is that. Malayan Kalugo Here's a freaking looking animal that you may be seeing for the first time. The Malayan Kalugo, or what's also known as a flying lemur. Now, before we move forward, these animals don't actually fly, which may be confusing because of its name. And they're also not technically lemurs, so I understand if you just want to skip this creature altogether. But the tree-dwelling mammal is the closest living relative to the primate, and it has a patagium, that fur-covered membrane that stretches out and effectively makes the kalu go a kite. They also have webbed feet, which also aids when it coasts through the air. The creature sort of looks like a bat. In comparison though, a bat's skeleton is much more lightweight, though the Kalugo's body is lighter and thinner than that of a flying squirrel, which is an advantage that they have over them when they glide through the air. Blue-footed booby So quickly, when I first saw the title of this animal, I've gotta admit, I was a little confused. But then once I picked my brain up out of the gutter, I realized that this blue-footed booby wasn't what I was thinking about at all. For starters, a booby, in the animal world, is a seabird. The blue-footed booby has, you guessed it, blue feet, which of course makes them extremely unique. Now that that's all out the way, you want to hear something gross? When a blue-footed booby is trying to stay cool in a hot environment, sometimes it will defecate on its own feet. Yeah, think about that the next time your pretty toes touch hot sand and you're thinking of ways to cool off your tootsies. There's also a red-footed booby, though I'm not sure that they do the whole poop on their feet thing. Glowing Sea Turtle And last, but most certainly not least, we've got the Glowing Sea Turtle. In 2015, near the Solomon Islands in the Pacific Ocean, this rare and first-of-its-kind hawksbill sea turtle was spotted. 
The rare site was discovered by David Gruber of National Geographic, but as far as we know, we're not exactly sure what causes the strange biofluorescence. But it is beautiful, isn't it? If you could glow like that, would you? I'm sure that I'd certainly give it a try. So, hey, you just watched 10 unique animals you didn't know existed. Were there any on today's list that you've already known about? Or were you as surprised as I was? Thanks for watching. You've been hanging out with the Supreme. We'll see you soon.